Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plug and Boutique, and today we're going to be talking about a quick tip using anything inside of the kilohertz ecosystem. That could be multi-pass, like I'm using here, which is a multi-band effects processor that is absolutely out of this world. It could be Snappy, and this is also available inside of their flagship synth, Phase Plan. So what I'm going to show you is how to pitch track an incoming signal to apply an effects to a certain band depending on whatever note is being played. It might sound confusing, but trust me, this is incredibly powerful, especially for those who are looking to be super surgical with your mixing, mastering, and sound designing. So what I'm going to do is come here and just click new. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some distortion here. Now, when I add this distortion, it affects the frequency range shown right here. So if I play my bass, So let's say I actually like that crossover. I just happen to put it it's at 304. It's between these two harmonics. But watch what happens when the second note comes in. You see how I'm adding that distortion to that second lump there? I don't want that. I actually want this frequency position to move along with the note. So I'm only affecting this harmonic and above you know, no matter what note is being played. So to do that, we come down to the modulator and we add pitch tracker. Now, I wanna click right here to add it and everything that comes up with an addition button will show me that I can add that to it. So I'm gonna add it to this frequency crossover position and then add it 100%. Now, if I play the audio, look down here in the pitch tracker window. Something funny is happening. Uh, it's not showing me it's tracking any pitch. And that's because the this right here, the lower note limit is actually above where my sub is hitting. So if I take this and move it all the way down, we should expect to see some information inside the window now. And we do. We see that it's correctly identifying the pitch and moving along with it. Next thing I want to do is take this position right here, which is the root note, which is going to be my first bass hits. And I want to essentially line up this vertical line with that first bass note. And if I play it and then stop it, that line will continue. And I just want to take that and it should snap right over. And if we look up here now, as the note moves, so will this frequency crossover position. So we've already set it up. Now, anything I add to this particular slot or effects chain will only affect however many harmonics above where I've set here. So we got like one, we got the root note, then a harmonic and a second harmonic, and then everything else will be um, affected by this distortion. Now, what we can do is also add it to this one as well. So if I put the plus, add it there, bring it up 100%. And now just decide where we want that original position to be. So now the distortion is only affecting however many harmonics are there between those two positions. So if I come in and we can add a transient shaper, for example, add some attack on it, bring up the pump just a tad, put it above the distortion. And I'm even gonna pull down the mix of that channel as well. So I can't express to you how many applications this has. I'm just trying to give you a very specific one with these bass notes here where we can clearly see defined harmonic peaks and then we can set our frequency crossover positions accordingly. However, this can be used for so many different things. And trust me, once you get in and start messing around with it, you're gonna love it and find yourself using it more and more. But as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm Joshua Casper with Plugin Boutique. All of Kilohertz products can be found on pluginboutique.com. Go ahead and click the link in the video description to check it out. And as usual, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.